Hello, my name is Pat Lubton, and for today's video, I will be demonstrating a language teaching method called Suggestopedia. In particular, I will be demonstrating a brief lesson that would feature the method for which Suggestopedia is known. It's called a concert, and this concert utilizes the use of props and acting on behalf of the teacher to demonstrate what they're reading as they read a script aloud. It also has music that plays in the background. For more information, please check the description below. Good morning. Today's lesson is going to focus on using short, simple sentences to describe actions. And these sentences are going to be in first person and present tense. We're going to be using these sentences to describe daily activities that students, such as yourselves, are familiar with. And all I ask that you do to begin with is read through the script that I've given you, see what you do and don't know, and then we'll come together and I'll answer any questions or concerns you have before we move on to the next section. Okay, so now that we've worked through any concerns or questions you had about your initial read through of the script, we can move on to the second part of today's lesson. For this part, I will be reading the script aloud to you. And all you have to do is read along in your head while I read it aloud. Just follow what I'm saying, how I'm saying it. For today's lesson, I'm going to be doing most of the hard work for you. Essentially, you get to just sit back and relax and focus really on intaking the information before I really ask you to reproduce on your own. So let's just go ahead and go through the second read through. I wake up at seven o'clock in the morning. I brush my hair. I brush my teeth. I get dressed for school. I eat cereal for breakfast. I pack my backpack. I drive to school. I walk to class. I drive back home. I eat a sandwich for lunch. I do my homework. I text my friends. I eat chicken for dinner. I watch television. I take a shower. I put on my pajamas. I go to bed at 10 o'clock at night. And that's it for the second read through. So at this point, before we move on to the last part of today's class, are there any questions you may have that we need to work through before we move on? Anything about pronunciation maybe? We'll address those before we go on. Okay, so now that we've worked through any questions you may have had after the second part of today's lesson, we can move on to the third. And last part of today's lesson. So this time is going to, I'm going to be reading aloud to you again. But this time it's going to be a little different. I'm going to use the props and pictures to help me act out what I'm saying while I'm saying it. And your job this time is to watch me and listen again. So you won't be needing your script. You won't be reading along this time. I will also have some music playing in the background. This is just to help you relax and focus on the information I'm giving you and really try to take it in. So I'm just going to start the music and I'm actually going to let the music play for just a, a few seconds before I actually start reading aloud just to let us get a chance to get in the mood first. I wake up at seven o'clock in the morning. I brush my hair.
I brush my teeth I get dressed for school I eat cereal for breakfast I pack my backpack I drive to school I walk to class I drive back home I eat a sandwich for lunch I do my homework I text my friends I eat chicken for dinner I watch television I take a shower I put on my pajamas I go to bed at 10 o'clock at night Okay, and that's the last thing we have to do for class today. Next class, we'll focus more on you actually reciting the script yourself. We'll do it together as a class, and then we'll break up into smaller pairs. But all I ask that you do for now for homework is read this once before you go to bed, and then once again when you first wake up in the morning. And then that's it for today. So I'll see you next class.